Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use cleanser, toner, essence, serum and moisturizer. Now I want to keep my main focus on the order of application and how much you need to use of each product. I do not want to cover what products you should pick based on your skin type and your skin concerns. If you want to see such a detailed video, I have one for you in the top right corner. And before I'm getting started with the entire application, I want to share with you a PowerPoint slide so that you can see the order of application visually and have a general guide in mind of how much you need to use, which can work pretty much like well with any product that you're currently using. And so you're going to get started with the first step, which is washing your face using a suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs to properly remove any excess oil, dirt and sweat from the skin. After you have washed your face, rinse it off, you can move on to the next step, which is going to be the application of your toner. Now this can be a an hydrating and soothing toner or an exfoliating acid toner. Either way, apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then move on to your essence, apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin. And then after that, you can follow with specific treatments. So this is based on your skin concerns. So please make sure to target this specifically and layer from the thinnest to the thickest texture, depending on how many treatments you may be using. Best would be like one or two, like the shorter you can keep the list the better and then apply it to the skin leave it on the skin there's no need to wash it off and then you can follow on with your moisturizer that works well for your skin type apply it to the skin leave it on the skin there's no need to wash it off and so this is a setup that I now want to share with you in like the like entire application as well so I have the products right here which I have in the PowerPoint slides as well so that you have an idea of what this can look like but of course if you want to go over the general general guide in your own time again and you want to learn more about the cleansing methods and the products that I have picked, you will find everything in the description box down below. You just need to click on the link and you can even download them. But now I want to get started with the skincare routine. So again, we are starting off with the first step, which is your cleansing step. This can be done above the sink or in the shower. Either way is fine. Just make sure to properly rinse everything off the skin. Again, the cleanser that you're going to choose depends on your skin type and your skin concerns. Make sure that it can help you to properly wash your face. So I have two examples right here of gentle cleansers and I'm going to use a CeraVe's hydrating cleanser which is suitable for normal to dry skin. If you should have a different one replace it and then please make sure to read on the back of the packaging on how you should use your cleanser since the directions can change. Most often they will tell you well apply to wet skin rinse it off with water however sometimes they do mention apply to dry skin and then rinse it off with water so please make sure to adjust it accordingly. Every time you're working with water, I recommend using lukewarm water to warm water so that it feels comfortable on the skin. So let's go ahead and do this. Then use about one to two pumps or about a coin size amount on the palm of your hand. About that much. Rub your hands together and gently blend it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute, making sure not to get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. If that's the case, rinse it with water. So, and once you have massaged it all over your face and neck, you now can go ahead and rinse it off again with lukewarm water to warm water. When doing this above the sink, using your hands alone to get it off the skin isn't really enough. You always will end up with some residue. Therefore, I recommend using a clean washcloth, those makeup cloths, like microfiber cloths, which are extremely gentle on the skin. Wet them, squeeze them out, and then gently swipe it across your face to get any last traces of your cleanser off the skin.
So now once you have rinsed off your cleanser, now there is an important step to do in between and this is now taking a clean towel and removing the remaining water drops on the skin surface to avoid peeling and to avoid like the products that you're going to layer on top and mixing with water which then if it dries it feels tight and dry and then again the peeling situation can occur which is extremely annoying. So please make sure to gently pat over your face with your towel to remove the water drops on the skin surface. Please do not rub. So once you're done with your cleansing step, you can immediately move on to the next step, which is the application of your toner. Now again, keep in mind, you can go with an hydrating and soothing toner or an exfoliating acid toner. This depends on your skin type and your skin concerns. Now, if you should use an exfoliating acid toner, please keep the frequency in mind. I recommend starting off by using it two to three times per week, once per day, and then slowly adjust the frequency if you should feel the needs, because if you're going to use it too often, this really can lead to sensitivity. Whereas with your hydrating and soothing toner, this isn't an issue. You can use that one daily in the morning and or evening. But one thing that won't change is going to be the application. And so I have two examples right here. I have a hydrating and soothing toner right here from Paula's Choice or the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution, which is an exfoliating acid toner. And I'm going to go with exfoliating acid toner since there are certain points that you need to like keep in mind when doing the application, whereas with your hydrating and soothing toner, this shouldn't be an issue. So go ahead, grab your toner, either one is fine, just make sure that it fits with your skin type and needs. And when applying your toner to the skin, there are two methods that you can go with. The first one would be dispensing some product onto a cotton pad. Now, when doing this method, make sure that you're going to uh, like use enough on the cotton pad so that it feels slightly damp, but it shouldn't be dripping wet. So I'm giving you now an example of how much this can be. So about that much more or less, this should be enough to swipe it across your face and neck. And this can work with your hydrating toner and exfoliating acid toner. And so then go ahead and apply it all over. However, this is a method that I wouldn't recommend because you can waste quite a lot of product because the cotton pad soaks up some of the product before you can get it to the skin. And so therefore I prefer to apply a toner with my hands. This way you need less product and still have enough product to blend it evenly all over. So the general guide for either hydrating or exfoliating as a toner would be use between five to ten drops. Start off with five drops, see how far you can blend it. If that shouldn't be enough, you can add a few drops more. But please do not use more than that because it just should feel slightly damp when blending it evenly all over your face and neck and it should absorb very quickly into the skin. It shouldn't sit on the skin surface. And when working with an exfoliating acid toner, I recommend please do not use it on top of your eyelids, nor get it too close to the actual lower lash line. And when looking into an AHA or PHA toner, please read on the back of the packaging because usually it does mention avoid the eye contour. So keep this in mind. So rub your hands together and then blend it evenly all over your face and neck. Make sure to not get it into your eyes, nor into your mouth. And when using an exfoliant, again, please do not get it too close to the overall eye area. So once you have applied it all over your face and neck, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. Now you can give it about 30 seconds to a minute in between if you should feel the need. However, usually toners absorb pretty fast into the skin. So once you like notice that it has already absorbed, you can immediately move on to the next step. Again, the next step is going to be an essence. Now this primarily adds hydration to the skin. It can have like a great antioxidant combination, but usually you can use that one daily in the morning and or evening without any concerns. And so I have two examples right here. I have one that has like an opening like a toner so when it comes to that specific amount again go with about five to ten drops and evenly apply it all over however if you should have maybe a toner or essence depending on the product black like packaging that has a pump i recommend usually going with about one to two pumps this should be more than enough and so as an example i'm going to use cosorex snail essence which has a pump so i'm going to use two pumps that one has a thicker texture, so I'm going to use it on my fingertips. If the texture is a bit like water, then please apply it on the palm of your hand and then apply it to the skin. So 
So once you have applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. And again, just give it a moment so it can absorb into the skin. So making sure that how much you're going to use of each product is really an important point to emphasize. Because if you're going to end up with too much, the layering can cause troubles. Not only that it may feel uncomfortable, but again, the peeling situation can really occur. And it's so annoying because then you can redo the entire routine. So how much you're going to apply to the skin is a key point when layering so many steps or like so many products after another. And so once you have applied your essence all over, you can move on to the next step, which is going to be your overall treatments. Now, if you should have treatments that come in different textures, I recommend layering from the thinnest to the thickest texture. So kind of like a water type uh, zeom or oval formulation should be then your first step. There may be zeoms that have a thicker texture, and then you may have even a gel or cream that you're going to use depending on your skin concerns. And then this would be the last step when it comes to the treatment step in a skincare routine. So again, layer from the thinnest to the thickest texture. Extra. Overall, if you should have a zone texture, this is like which is like water, go with about a five to eight drops, more or less. If you should have a zone that has a bit more of a thicker texture, but not too thick and sticky, go with about a three to five drops. If you should have a zone that has a much thicker texture, like giving you the examples that I have right here from the ordinary hyaluronic acid or niacinamide, well then do you would go with about two to three drops. And then if you should have a gel or cream type texture treatment, go with about a pea size amount. So you have an overall general guide in mind when layering your products. This should work with any treatment that you may be currently using. And so as an example, I'm going to use the ordinary hyaluronic acid zone. That one has a thicker, stickier texture. And so I'm going to use about two to three drops. You can say basically the thicker the texture of your zone, the less product you need because you have more time to blend it all over. Then rub it between your hands and then evenly blend it all over your face and neck. So once you have applied it all over your face and neck, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. There's another point that I need to emphasize, and this is depending on the treatment that you may be using, please keep the frequency in mind on how often you can use it. I'm now thinking about retinol or retinoids. So again, you would start off slowly so that your skin can adjust to it before maybe using it daily, depending on the strength that you may be using. Or in general, if you should have a spot treatment, but of course, then go ahead and just use it on those specific spots and not all over your face face and neck. So always read the directions, like overall instructions that you like have depending on the treatment that you may be using. Well, nonetheless, once you have applied it to the skin, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. And then you're going to move on to the last step, which is going to be your moisturizer. I have two examples right here. Would work well for all skin types. This is just purely an example. If you should have a different one, of course, go ahead and exchange it as with any product. And so as an example, I'm going to use a simple hydrating light moisturizer. One thing that won't change is how much you're going to use. So use about like between a pea size amount to a bean size amount, depending on the texture of your moisturizer, so that you have enough product so that you can apply it thinly all over, but you're not going to overdo it. You do not need such a coat. A bit is already enough to lock in moisture. So about that much, more or less, maybe a tiny bit more if you should feel the need, but then there you go, please do not overdo it. And then evenly apply it all over your face and neck. So, and once you have applied your moisturizer all over, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. And there you have an example of how you can use each product when layering them in the same routine. There's one more important point that I need to emphasize, and this is your sunscreen step. I did not include it because I primarily with exfoliant would be a great example of an evening skincare routine. However, nonetheless, sun protection during daytime is still important when being exposed to the sun to protect your skin from the damaging UV rays. 
This doesn't matter if you're working with an exfoliant or not, sunscreen is still always recommended. And so please don't forget to now use this after you have applied your moisturizer, maybe just skip your moisturizer and after your specific treatments, apply your sunscreen during daytime, 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure. If you want to see a specific guide on how you can properly apply your sunscreen, I'm going to leave it at the end of this video. Plus, if you want to know how you can do a double cleanse, especially in your evening skincare routine to remove sunscreen and makeup from the skin, I'm going to link that one at the end of this video as well so that you can see a completed guide when working with such products. Now I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful. If you did so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.